hi guys okay i'm gonna start off by saying i am a very brave mom for going out today because kaya has been insane like she's still on a halloween high on like a candy high and she's been like borderline unbearable and usually kaya's pretty good kaya listens really well and I'm losing my patience today, <laughs> like so bad. So um, I'm on my way out the door today. So I have a new um, work schedule. Um, it's changed a couple of times. So I do four days a week and then I have every other Friday off and every other Monday off. So that essentially gives me a four day weekend twice a month. So anyway, and I'm just starting that schedule. So today we like spent the morning and just kind of like lounged around um i was really tired this morning all of us were we slept in until eight um usually we're up and going by well on a work day um i'm up and going by about 5 30 and um the kids are up and going by about seven so um or excuse me they're up and going by about um 6 15 because we're out the door by 6 30 um most mornings so Anyway, so we slept in quite a bit this morning felt really good. I had way too much candy So I feel like I have a little bit of like a candy hangover myself. I had like a good probably like three pieces Which sounds crazy, but I'm almost completely sugar-free like most of the time. So when I have sugar, it's like Whoa, my body just like does not react well. So anyway, I think that's a little bit of what's going on with her too um, because she keeps reaching for more and more candy, but Anyway, all right, we're out the door. It is 2.30 and finally dressed and out the door um, to go get a Walmart order pickup um, for groceries. And if you guys haven't used that yet, where have you been? You are missing out. You have to use um, the Walmart order pickup. I used to do um, like my local grocery stores. I paid for the Instacart Express, I think it is. So it's like $9.99 for unlimited delivery every month. But um, the grocery stores that delivered to my house, the selection wasn't super great. Um, and it's one of the more expensive grocery stores in town, um, Hornbacher's, which I love Hornbacher's for my meat. But, um, now I've been getting my meat from Costco in bulk. So now I just go to Walmart for like the random little things and it has saved me so much money. Um, the reason why I don't usually shop at Walmart is because I don't really like to go inside um, and go through my Walmart. Just for some reason, I don't know. Um, maybe it's just my Walmart, but I just, I don't like to like shop around in there. There's a lot of people and it's just a lot of chaos and I'm already dealing with enough chaos. So. Um, the Walmart order grocery pickup thing is amazing. So I got that and that's at four and, and we are going to be back splashing, doing our backsplash, backsplashing, I don't really know. But we're gonna be um, doing the backsplash this weekend or I am mostly because Mike's got orders to work on um, to finish up. We're almost done here, which is super great. But um, I will be doing the backsplash. So I'm gonna go pick it up. And I think all in all, we priced it out. It was gonna be like a hundred bucks. So um, my dad has a tile saw that we're using, which is super awesome, um, which I think saved us quite a bit of money. But um, yeah, a hundred bucks to do my backsplash. Sure, great. Um, I need to get my house projects done. So anyways, all right. We're gonna go get the stuff for that, pick up our groceries, and we're gonna stop at my P.O. box. Um, and yeah, that, that's the plan, guys. I hope we survive it. I might have to do a little bit of a coffee run in there because, oh man, mom is dragging today. Like, I just need a good caffeine boost or something, so. And yes, I do have a P.O. box. Um, the information for that is down below. If you ever wanna send me like a little postcard, say hey, I would love it. Every time I get a postcard in the mail, it makes my day and it always makes me cry. Like never fails makes me cry because I'm just so grateful for all of you. And like, I don't know why, but like a letter just like makes me realize that there's actual people on the other side of this little black box. Um, and I'm actually talking to you guys. Yes, in the comments and on my Instagram too, but I don't know, it's just, it's so much more real when I get something in the mail from you guys. Like just like a little hello card. I love it. So if you guys want to send us some cards, feel free down below. Um, all right, I'm gonna scoot and get this stuff over with. I am procrastinating because I just don't want to deal. I do not want to deal today. Also, it's officially November 1st, so happy Thanksgiving season. It is time to take the Halloween decor down and get going with Christmas stuff. And I have ordered 
quite a bit of Christmas stuff already. I've got a bunch of DIYs in store, all the naughty things, guys. I've spent way too much money on Christmas already, so stay tuned. <laughs> this is not a booger, this is dry skin, but I bet you 10 bucks. She's gonna end up falling asleep on the way there. I think she's already sleeping. You're freaking kidding me. And it's snowing, you guys, quite a bit. These are big flakes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these are really big flakes. We are back again. I feel like we're here way too much. We're here like every single day, you guys. But whether it be for M&M Rustic Orders or it be for home improvement projects, we are here all the time. P.S. Menards, sponsor us. <laughs> All right, guys, got two boxes of subway tile. Kaya is running away from me again. We've got our mastic, which is like what helps it stick. And then we have this as well. And we have um, a little trowel and then um, like a scraper for the mastic. And then we've got some spacers. Because even though these are like mosaic, we still have to strip off a thing. And then Kaya's getting this book. <laughs> Alright, so we barely survived that. Um, that was insane. Oh my gosh. Kaya's like climbing all over. Kaya's like climbing all over the tile boxes. She was indeed not sleeping in that last clip, you guys. Um, yeah, so she was climbing all over the tile boxes. It was like disappearing every two seconds but we made it out of there just to be clear i only 75 percent know what i'm doing when it comes to this backsplash and the tiling um i got the mosaic to make it a little bit easier so i don't have to use as many spacers but each like thing is like 12 by 12 and the like space underneath the um cupboard is Let's see, 14.75 um, inches or so. Um, I'm trying to do something kind of unique with like the top. So we will have like 0.75 inches left between the top, but between like the bottom of the cupboards and the top of the tile. So, and I'm not like in love with any of the, um, any of the um, like trim pieces that they have for the tile. They're all like really bulky and kind of, I don't know, I you guys know me, I like really clean lines. So. I'm actually thinking for the top trim, we're going to do um, a wood trim piece. I think it's going to be really nice and like slick. It's going to be um, just like like a thin trim piece of wood. We're gonna stain a Jacobean, which is um, a very similar, which is the same color that we've used like on the shelves and our gate and stuff. So it should tie together really well. It's like a really like dark, cool, dark brown color. It's beautiful. Um, but I think that'll look really nice like above on the tile. It just is going to give it this like really cool look. Um, so we're going to do that. I have tiled in the past with my parents. So when my parents built their house, they redid a farmhouse out in the country and then we built a house in town. And both times we actually um, did a lot of the tiling ourselves. So with the um, farmhouse, I helped tile the entire kitchen um, and the bathroom upstairs. And then I think of the bathroom, I can't remember, but um, I did help tile the backsplash at my parents' house they built. Um, and so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, I know like the materials that we need. I just got pre-mixed grout um, and then I got like the prep, the adhesive for the wall, um, which for us, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a mastic, I believe is what it's called, um, instead of um, a mortar, because with a wall, you don't need something quite as heavy as a mortar. Um, this mastic should be plenty good. Um, it, like a little tip that I found um, when you're doing backsplash is just to rough the wall up, then apply your mastic. So we'll probably just sand the wall down a little bit um, so it doesn't have that eggshell, like tiny bit of a sheen to the paint. Um, you rough it up so it gives it something to grab onto, and then you do the mastic, and then you um, lay the tile, and then you grout after that's all set and dry. So anyways, all right, well we're gonna go get some coffee and get Kaya hot chocolate. And then by that time, our grocery pickup order should be ready to go from Walmart. All the things today, you guys, for getting a late start, I feel like I'm kicking butt. 
Okay, so I just got my like drink of choice lately um, has been a sugar-free vanilla latte um, And then I just got Kaya a kid size white hot chocolate um, <laughs> Do you guys ever like oh, this is so embarrassing. I like anxiety panic When I get into the vehicle because sometimes when you're like dealing with kids and stuff you forget stuff so like I always do the cell phone and keys check and also um, like make sure I have my wallet well I just about cracked my pants because I thought I had lost my wallet but I found it it's right here so no more panicking and then at the same time there was somebody like moving backwards when I was parked and I was like oh my god like what is going on I'm just like losing my mind today you guys losing my mind all right it's my turn for some coffee so hello, hello. How are you doing today? good how are you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. How cute is this tiny little hot chocolate? So cute. So we just got home, just changed his bum bum. Yeah, that was a nice long nap, buddy. That was like two hours long. Good nap, huh? Yeah. What do you got? You got sister's toy? You got your sister's toy. Yeah. Anything that makes noise. His favorite thing to do right now is to crawl. Yep. And scoot with something in his hand. Yep, that's his favorite thing to do right now. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, is that your favorite thing? <laughs> oh, those are mommy's shoes. Mommy's gonna move her shoes. Ew. There, buddy. That's better. That's better. Hi. Yep, scooting around. Big boy. Scraping up my floors. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I'm just gonna sit and chat with you. I just got home, putting the rest of the groceries away um, for snacks, Skinny Pop, and Goldfish, and tortilla chips, and um, I'll see. I think there's wheat thins in here too. Yep, wheat thins. Um, so the one thing that I got this time that was like kind of a treat for Kai, um, I got a ton of Nutri-Grain bars because Kaya is like savage in the morning. I don't know about yours as kids, but like Kaya has to eat something right away or she's so crabby. So I picked up a few boxes of those just to get us by for the morning. Do you guys have any like other like quick breakfast um, ideas for preschoolers? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I just, sometimes when I'm going grocery shopping, I totally blank out um, on, um, on like snack items and things like that. Um, so I got a couple of things. I'm just gonna like tell you really quickly. I feel like I'm always doing grocery hauls with you guys. Um, I got stuff for spaghetti squash spaghetti. I got stuff for zucchini noodle spaghetti. Um, spaghetti is like a go-to in our house and we tried the gluten-free noodles last week. They're really good, um, but I, 
would rather do with a vegetable if possible. Um, I got corn tortillas um, because we do a lot of tacos and fajitas in our house. I will typically do like lettuce wraps and things like that with them. Um, we are gonna have somewhat of a cheat meal. I'm gonna do enchiladas. So we are, like I said, doing enchiladas this week. So I just got some of the low carb um, or the carb balance mission tortillas. Those are just regular flour tortillas, so they're not gluten free, but um, they are low carb at least. Um, and then there's the salsa verde for it. I thought for sure we had salsa verde, but anyway. Um, and then I always grab cream of mushroom. Um, not super healthy, but I like to have it on hand for quick meals um, just in case. Um, sometimes our weeknights can be super crazy, so I like to just have those on hand um, for emergency meals. Yeah, don't eat that, buddy. So cream of mushroom, and then I've got cream of chicken, and then I grabbed a couple cans of just good old chicken noodle soup. Um, I also grabbed a bag of pizza rolls, and the pizza rolls and the chicken noodle soup are um, just like kid meals. So the chicken noodle soup and pizza rolls are basically just for Kaya to have um, for um, weekend lunches. That's the only time that we really feed her stuff like that. Excuse you, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah? Uh, Ooh, yeah. And then um, I got some barbacoa um, slow cooker sauce starter. And I will be doing a cook with me, so like a recipe uh, video of some of my um, crock pot meals this week. So stay tuned for that because that's coming very soon. Um, but we do barbacoa um, quite often and I thought this was an easier way of doing it. So hopefully the sauce is good. It looks pretty good. So anyways, it's nice and dark and it has peppers in it. Um, but yeah, like I said, we got wheat things and all the good things. Should we put these groceries away, huh? Yeah, want mama. Want mama. This sweet boy. Oh, go and cry side. <laughs> I can't hold Oh, it. so nice. So nice. Ah, uh, he's like, get me out of here. Tonight for dinner, I am making steak and shrimp and diced potatoes um, because Mike is super starving. Um, and then I haven't eaten since breakfast, so I'm pretty hungry myself. Um, I just munched on a pizza roll that I made for Kaya earlier. Um, it is just about six o'clock. I'm just getting the potato started. And then I will saute the shrimp and the steak. And usually I do my shrimp like um, kind of like scampi style. Um, I'll show you guys how I do that um, just in a minute here, but super, super good. For the potatoes, I always use this Montreal chicken seasoning. It's really, really good. Um, has like good like herbs and like garlic and things like that in there so that is what i put on the potatoes and then i just cover them so there's avocado oil the montreal chicken and i'm gonna let those saute and cook all the way through and then i'm going to get my shrimp ready for sauteing as well for the meat um this is just new york strip that i had gotten from costco um i used the rest of our fergalicious love original dry rub this is so good you guys we get this from a local um meat shop it's super good um, i'm not sure if that you guys can find this online if i can find it i'll link it down below for you um, but it is gluten free and msg free super yummy um, and then i just do um, the restaurant style black pepper um, it's more so like instead of a fine black pepper it's like a coarse um, black pepper and we really like peppery steaks um, once in a while so so that's what i use to season the steak so for the shrimp, I do a little bit of Cajun seasoning and then I do a little bit of this magic salmon seasoning. Um, and then onion powder, garlic, Mike just got home so that's why it's crazy. Um, some fresh garlic and then some Parmesan. And then I'll just kind of let this cook down 
and um, get the juices going. And, and then I add just a little bit of gluten-free flour um, to thicken up the sauce. And then when the shrimp is all done, I just add a little bit of Parmesan to the top. And yeah. Kaya's is ready to go. And then I will cut up um, Riker's and potatoes to have. All right, so Riker's is ready. And then mine is ready as well. Um, I always use raw shrimp when I'm cooking. And then when I am cooking the steak on the um, skillet in the middle, I will turn it up super high so that I can sear the outside and then we like a medium rare, um, medium rare to rare. So that is what we're eating for dinner tonight. So remember when I said I was 75% sure that I got everything for the tile? Nope. The color, actually, okay, so it wasn't really my fault. Healthy, and the tie, okay, the grout. Whatever. Help you. The grout um, was way lighter. It was way more gray than we were hoping. So it is seven o'clock, got in the vehicle. We're driving back to, to Menards to get like unmixed. I got the pre-mixed, and we're gonna have to get the unmixed kind of mix it ourselves because it's the only one that has like a true like black, like a dark black. Um, grout so we need to grab that and then we need more mastic because I didn't read the thing close enough and it only covers five square feet so we're gonna need a little bit more than that to cover um, the entire backsplash and we want to get it tonight and go get the tile saw tonight from the storage unit because um, we're gonna need to start basically I'm gonna have to prep it tonight and then start doing the mastic right away in the morning and laying the tile right away in the morning because the mastic has to set for at least 24 hours or more. So um, if we want to finish this project this weekend, we have to start tonight with the prep. So I failed a little bit. Back at Menards. I am staying in the vehicle with the kids because it'll be so much faster if Mike just goes in, FaceTimes me and like gets what we're supposed to get. I feel bad. I was like so confident that I got what we needed and I, I did, I just didn't get enough of the mastic. And then I, I mean, I didn't know that that charcoal was gonna be so gray. It was like, I don't have anything on me, but it was like, it said charcoal on it, charcoal gray, like a, like a dark charcoal gray, but our countertops are black and most of our like accents are black and our um, hardware in our kitchen is also black. So we definitely need something that's like charcoal black not charcoal gray, like light gray. That's how it was, it was like a light gray. So it wouldn't have looked right, whatever. So, all right, so he's gonna go get that and then we're gonna go to the storage unit, my parents' storage unit that they still have here in town. Your leg is just fine. And um, go to that storage unit and get the tiles off. <laughs> I just watched this guy open the door for his wife. How cute is he? Oh my gosh. Okay, I just took my hair out of my hat, so I look crazy, but you have to see the cats. I can't show Kaya because she's in her panties. Let's get this guy Shaking her booty in the mirror. Okay. Hi, what are you doing? Watch me, brother. Macaroni. Doing the macarena, aka the macaroni. Macaroni. Oh my gosh, nuts, nuts. Macaroni, macaroni. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going insane. We are going insane. Kaya is like still on a continued like candy high, I feel like, from yesterday. Kaya, no. I am going to end the vlog there for today. I am going to get the walls all prepped, everything like taped off, ready to go for um, the mastic in the morning. So, and I will vlog that for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But, oh my gosh, no. <laughs>
All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. Say hello to our little friend, Babe, over here. We've named him Babe the Gray Ox. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of animal he is, some kind of cow, moo moo. Um, all right, if you like this insane day in the life with me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Kaya, you are nuts. <laughs> you are nuts. No, that's Larry. No, that's All right, guys. I will see you um tomorrow for another really fun video. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say probably another day in the life. Maybe, maybe you'll clean with me. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right. Make sure you're subscribed to our crazy, insane family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.